Hey, it's Joe Tomorrow from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, thanks for tuning in and watching that ridiculous YouTube commercial. Um, one of the things you have to do now is, uh, before you watch this video, can you go up and hit the subscribe button, right? We need some subscribers. All right, check it out. All right, so you see this in this other video, and we're over here with this um, uh, Pinnacle Pump, not Pinnacle Golf Club. Uh, that joke's getting old. We've already used it in another video, but if you've been watching, you're like, dude, I already saw that. Just get on with the pump repair. All right, fine. We're getting on with the pump repair. All right, so we removed the pump housing. Robert is going to go place that on the floor right there. Okay, now once you remove the pump housing, you have the diffuser ring here, okay, or the diffuser. Now that's held on by these bolts, so you want to get yourself on a nut driver, just like this, and you want to remove these three nuts. Now, like I said before, We've already loosened these up. That way, it's a little bit easier for you to wash at home. Okay? You don't have to actually watch us struggle or sit here all day trying to loosen bolts. Now, on your pump, it might be a little bit harder to do, but just take your time. It's no rush, you know what I mean? Okay, so there you go. That's your diffuser cover. Now, if you want any of these parts and you're watching, we sell all the kits on wetheadpumprepair.com. So all you have to do is go to wetheadpumprepair.com, or if you want to be even lazier, just type in wetheadpump into Google search, uh, or rather pump repair to search, or something like that, you'll see us in the search engine, click on that, and then right on the left-hand side of our website, um, or actually it's this side, you'll see, like, there'll be a menu, it'll say pool pump kits, click on pool pump kits, and then you'll see the Pinnacle kit, and it's only $29 with shipping, that includes the seal and the two barracks. So instead of buying a new pump for $300, you can buy a rebuild kit for $29 with shipping, be at your house in two to three days. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this impeller. In the center of this impeller here, there's a bolt, okay, that holds it on. Now, if you've watched a lot of other videos, or if you're watching my video right now, and you're like, okay, cool, cool, this is cool, man. Like, wow, I didn't realize there was some guy on the internet, like, showing us how to fix electric motors. Right, it, you've got that right, the grammar right, some guy, because there's not many other guys. There's a couple other guys that are laughing or stoned when they were doing this, and they're breaking stuff like, hey, we seen some guy right, he's like, I broke my inbell, I reckon I can find another one somewhere. And like, dude, seriously, this is the internet, this is public. But anyway, so yeah, be careful with this. And now, in the center here, now if you're working on some other pumps, or you're washing it, like I was saying, not every impeller is like this, okay? Some impellers don't have the bolt in the middle. If you were actually working on like a Hayward Super Pump, or maybe some kind of spa pump, it actually wouldn't have that in the center. Now, I'm looking up because I was afraid the backdrop was going to fall off the wall. Because Robert always does a really horrible job hanging this thing. And I was like, oh my God, the heat from the tape, the lamp is making that tape. So I hope it doesn't fall while we're doing the video because that's really embarrassing. But I won't care because you know me. And if you've been watching my other 259 videos, it's not about the backdrop. It's about the pump repair. And so if you were actually watching this and you're like, dude, can you really just show me how to take the impeller off? Know what we can really use? We can really use donations. And in 2013, we're not afraid to say that. Like, you've probably watched John Stewart or Stephen Colbert when they go into their little, like, hey, we have a super pack thing or something like that. But we need donations. And if you're tired of looking at this gray backdrop, you can actually Google chroma key paint, which is like this green paint they use, like, on Tosh or whatever. And then we can paint our wall and, like, put some really cool backdrops or, like, something more interesting than Robert's ugly face. Yeah. So... Donations are available. We better hurry up and do this backdrop. Let's get back to the pump now. All right, so this is a counter clockwise thread, all right, which means you don't want it. Usually it's lefty loosey, righty tighty. But on this one here, okay, what you want to do is you want to turn it to the right, and that's actually going to loosen the nut, all right? Now, just like that, the bolt actually, okay? So there you go. It pulls right out the center. So remember, right hand thread. Now, the next thing you want to do here is you want to pop this little cap off the back. Okay, there's a little cap on here that's holding the, um, where's the hammer, man? Oh, the, right, wow. All right, I was like, where's the hammer, man? That's pretty good. All right, well, you want to pop this cap off the back here? All right? Now, if that was like, listen, if that was air hockey, I would have had a goal. Oh, yeah. All right, but unfortunately, it's on air hockey, and it's only a rug down there. We'll get that later. All right, so in the back here, you'll see a chunk where you can grab, okay, with your pair of pliers. I will show you here. Let me just bend up there. Uh, so you can grab that like that. And when you grab that, you want to grab like that. I'm going to just spin it around this way. Then grab this again. Oh, here, go ahead, Robert. Take the impeller off. And then Robert will show you. Now you can just spin the impeller. Okay? The, impeller the impeller spins off the opposite way of the bolt. That bolt in the center, it spins to the right. This spin spill spins to the left. Now you can see, okay, right there. Here's one side of the seal we're going to pull out right here. There's two parts of the seal that are inside here. Here's one part here I just pulled out, and the other part's in there. Okay, now in the next video, I'm 
going to remove this, what they call, this is called the seal housing plate, this next piece. And we're going to show you how to remove the seal, how to put in the new seal, what the kit looks like, and then we're going to start going on with the motor. All right, so this is Joe Tomargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. This is my boy Robert. See you in the next video, man. All right, so remember, stay tuned for the next video. Please subscribe. Go to the top of the YouTube channel there. It says subscribe. Hit subscribe. Watch all our other videos. If you have any extra money or extra food, donations, paint, supplies, tools, we are looking for donations. We want to keep these videos going. And, you know, we really want to keep you educated and teach you a lot of stuff how to save money. So please help us out. All right, thanks for watching. This is Joe Tomargo. Peace.